You're watching Sun TV, broadcasting to the world from studios in Providenciales in the beautiful by neutral Texas and Caicos Islands. Sun TV, your source for real news as it happens. I'm Ivor Lebrou, and thanks for watching Sun TV News. What started out as a kind deed for a friend ended up costing the owner of a popular Providencialist restaurant and bar $50,000 in cash. Jimmy Alston, the owner of the popular Jimmy's Dive Bar in Ports of Coal, stood bail for Canadian David Crofts, the former manager of Ports of Coal's resort, who is under investigation by TCI police after serious financial irregularities were uncovered. Jimmy signed $50,000 bail, but Crofts skipped the country. When Jimmy appeared before Chief Magistrate Clifton Warner on Friday, July 26th, he was ordered to pay a fine of $50,000 in six months or a summons will be issued for his appearance in court. If this occurs, a term of imprisonment will be determined by the Chief Magistrate. Before passing the sentence, Chief Magistrate Warner informed Jimmy of his responsibility as a shorty, which is to ensure that the person he or she is standing bail for appears to a police station or the court on the dates given by the police or the court. Top local designer Cass Forbes produced an absolutely stunning fashion show on Saturday, July 27th at the Regent Palms in Providenciales. The event, which was the first independent fashion show for Forbes, showcases several top quality pieces of an international standard which were worn by a group of top models. In an interview with Sun TV, the young designer, who is quickly making a name for himself on the regional and international scene, gave an overview of the show and elaborated on the details of his 2013-2014 collection. Well, Saturday, July 27th at the Regent Palms, uh, we had the uh, St. George Fashion House uh, fashion show and the applicable party. So the evening, the evening was very rich in fashion and, and luxury and uh, we had a few guests, we had uh, our sponsors, we had fashion lovers, and we had a guest model, Ataj, and a guest designer, Miko Guillermo Pady. So the evening, uh, the evening was spectacular. We had uh, our guest designer showcase. He showcased his uh, Caribbean sheet collection, and uh, persons really, really liked it. And I was, I, I was fortunate to, to watch his showcase on the runway, and uh, the pieces were very dynamic, and very Caribbean and you know it was uh, well put together and then I showcased my St. George Fashion House 2013-14 collection. Uh, the 2013-14 collection uh, is uh, it shows the progression of St. George Fashion House. It shows you know where I've came from since my New York City debut in 2011 and uh, my other collections. Uh, the, the new the current collection now from St. George Fashion House is very rich in details. There's a lot of intricate uh, features. You have a lot of uh, hand beading, a lot of rouging, a lot of gathers. So the construction of the garments are, you know, very, is very, 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 very strong and of high quality. All of the garments have built-in bras. They have boning. Uh, they feature half zipped uh, back closures and half lace closure some of them have full lace closure so the the collection is very very strong is it's like I always say it's a total upgrade and you know I'm I'm really really impressed or uh, about what I did for for the new collection the very patriotic Forbes said that his new collection was inspired by the beauty of the Turks and Caicos Islands this collection now the St. George Fashion House 2013 14 collection like other collections uh, were really inspired by the beauty of the Turks and Caicos Islands. Like I showcased my 2012-13 collection at Caribbean Fashion Week in Jamaica last year, and it was very, it was a, it was a, a resort collection with a lot of uh, high-end silks. But this collection here, it really takes you, really like up, up in, <coughs> in luxury and with craftsmanship and and everything. So. Using the beauty of the Turks and Caicos Islands, I, cho I chose a lot of uh, vibrant colors. So you had a lot of turquoise, you had a lot of green, you had 
you had white, you had blue, you had a yellow. So for a fall winter collection, it was it was very unique. Forbes, whose work has been showcased in Jamaica and New York, stressed the importance of giving back to his country, the Turks and Caicos Islands. Well, I debuted in in New York, 2011, June 8th, I showcased at Caribbean International Fashion Week, that was in Manhattan. The collection that I showcased there was uh, the La Caicos Sheet Collection, and I got, you know, great reviews, and it really uh, put me, I guess, you know, it gave me a great platform to showcase. I, uh, since, since then, uh, the reason that the, the showcase on Saturday, July uh, 27, was really important, because is because it was my first independent fashion shows, my first St. George Fashion House fashion show. All of my other showcases, except for Caribbean Fashion Week in Jamaica and uh, Caribbean International Fashion Week in New York, I've always been the special guest designer. So that show there was it was really important for me. Uh, on the local scene, I've been uh, facilitating uh, fashion clubs at the Edward C. Garland Youth Center. I mentor uh, the Clement Howell students on their career day uh, in the field of fashion and I've been making myself available to available to uh, to assist and you know to help out as much as I can. Describing last Saturday's event as a full power charge for him, Forbes said he has much more in store for his supporters. Saturday night, uh, like I said, was really important for me because it was my first independent fashion show and I could have it could not have been a success without the support of uh, you know the Turks and Caicos community and my sponsors, Digicel, the Region Palms, Tram Jaquel, Fetish TCI, Air Turks and Caicos, Caribbean Property Management, and all of all of my sponsors and fashion lovers here in the Turks and Caicos Islands. And I would like to thank everyone that came out and give me their support. It was a very spectacular evening, and I'm just it's like a it's like a full power charge you know all the comments and all the phone calls and bbls and text messages it's really really encouraging and like i always say in my head okay if you guys can go crazy about what i did on saturday you know a year or two from now you probably would just like drop dead <laughs> yeah because uh i have a lot in store i'm ibro Lebru, and thanks for watching sun tv news Join us again tomorrow when we bring you real news as it happens, directly to your computer or mobile device.